Today's video is on why you would never go vegan, Harley. Tell us more about it. All right, so I've been vegan 17 years, so and I get that question all the time, statement all the time, rather. I would never go vegan because these people on Facebook, these meat eaters, whatever, just mainstream people like I was back in the day, and they come across these vegan activists or emo people doing, they're running into restaurants and like, you know, kicking burgers off the plates and stuff like that, or they're harassing people at the abattoirs or they're blocking trucks and stuff like that. And I can definitely relate. I've done that stuff many you know, decades or back in the early 2000s. We did that stuff, but I stopped doing that because I had these people saying I'd never go vegan because I don't want to be one of those emo, aggressive, angry people like you. And, and back then I was like, yeah, you just don't care, you don't have the passion, blah, 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 you don't care about animals. And whilst that is true, I realised that that level of activism just was not effective. You know, it was efficient at creating bonds amongst other vegans. We would go out to potlucks and then go to ALF stuff afterwards and do all sorts of crazy stuff, which I can't even talk about because it's illegal. But there was one guy, Ralph Hausenheiser, who he, uh, in 2003, we put, well, he put uh, pork in this uh, shipment, live shipment going to the Middle East of sheep and goats and it was full on it was like national news and he got prosecuted for that and it stopped the ships going but it created this massive hate campaign against vegans so all us vegans celebrated and said Ralph good work he, Ralph actually disappeared he, we, I don't know if he's alive I don't know what happened to him but he had mad burnout he went to court he, it, it was it destroyed a lot of the, uh, the stuff going on in South Australia here but you know, hats off to Ralph having that passion but it just was not the right strategy and then flip side of the coin you have the you know the girls or people like myself on youtube inspiring people with weight loss weight loss weight loss that is the most powerful thing out there so when people say i'll never go vegan it's because they see these angry sad looking vegans maybe scabbing patreon money off other vegans and they're not inspired by that you know maybe vegans are inspired by it but mainstream people aren't inspired by it when a mainstream guy sees a vegan bodybuilder from veganbodybuilding.com, he's inspired. When a mainstream girl sees a hot vegan chick in a bikini or riding a bike or running or whatever, they're inspired. They're instantly paying attention. Now, walk with any hot vegan guy or girl and watch mainstream people, how they look at them. You know, if I'm walking with the women in my life, and I just, I, I love, I just love seeing other women look at them up and down. So I'm, I become invisible uh, to, to compared to the girl or woman I'm with at the moment, and you have these mainstream women just checking them up and down, and I'll often say, I'll say vegan, or she's a vegan, or she just eats plants, just to plant that seed in that person's mind at that point where they're just like looking at the girl going, wow, she's got a great body, sit on my face, baby, or whatever, <laughs> and you're just planting that seed. And, and likewise, if I'm with one of my vegan bodybuilder guys or whatever, and see other guys checking out the gains or the leanness or even me as a cyclist other cyclists who want to be lean or runners who want to be lean they see how lean I am with how little training I do and for my age as well and they're like something's working I want to, I want to be like Harley you know? and so many people thousands of people over the years uh, have, have said they've gone vegan because of me and I always ask the question what was the reason they're like oh I just want to be lean I want to feel healthier it was never because of ethics you know, it was never because oh, I saw you put up a post about this or I watched Earthlings it was like Maybe for a little bit, someone might be, but eventually if they're not meeting their aesthetic goals, they will quit, just like we had. You can look at some of the vegan activists on YouTube now, some of their older videos, they made videos about, I gained weight eating bananas or whatever, and like, you can tell that they only got into veganism because they wanted to lose weight, which is, animals don't really care how you go vegan, but we want to get people thriving on veganism so they can advertise to other people, to mainstream people, and that's how we create massive social change. So... When you're out there on Facebook or with your family or friends, before you be that nagging, emo, sad, boring, desperate, crazy, irritating vegan that everyone's going to fucking hate at dinner or at work or on Facebook or YouTube or Instagram, think before you type, think before you open your mouth, think before you have that certain posture or that rolling eyes facial expression and just think, am I being irritating right now or am I being, am I being inspiring? Am I, am I being frustrating right now or am I triggering fascination in others around me who go, vegan, wow, I want to look like that. I want to eat that. That looks fucking tasty. That looks like fun. That girl's got a hot body. That guy looks hot. He looks fit. I want to be lean. I want to have abs. I want to have some muscle. I want to have, I just want to have better health or whatever. And so before you do shit, man, just think about what are you doing? Yeah, because people are always fucking watching, man. They're watching your posture. They're watching your face. They're watching what you post on social media. They're watching what you eat. They're watching your face when you eat into food. If you go to your dinner table on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day or Easter, whatever, and you're sitting around the family function and you're the vegan, Everyone fucking knows about it, man. And everyone's watching you, man. They're watching you like fucking hawk. So if you're eating your food with a sad face or you're glaring at other people, they're going, okay, so that's what a vegan is. 
People are saying, what is a vegan? What the fuck is a vegan? Most people don't know what the fuck a vegan is. So if you're the first vegan they're ever going to meet, you're planting that motherfucking seed, man. So represent the best foot forward. Represent the best face of fun, inspiration. Right? Trigger more fascination. People are oh, vegan. I'm going to Google that shit up. Right? So people say, why do you always put your body up or the girl's bodies on YouTube or whatever? Because motherfucker, it fucking works, man. I mean, look at... To bring up freely, like look at how many people got inspired by freely. I mean, look how many girls started doing YouTube channels or started getting into cycling or veganism because of freely, and freely got into that because of me, and and it just it just it just carries on. And it's not to say who's better or whatever. It's just that what I'm saying is what is best is this fucking template of inspiration. All right, so become an inspiring motherfucker out there. Inspire people to get on a bike because they're gonna lose weight. Inspire them to make. Uh, YouTube videos to share the message because maybe they can write an ebook and it sells well and inspires other people and creates impact and income and that's what we need in this, in this planet we have so many people making income on shit that doesn't even fucking matter and it's actually a detriment to the planet so you just think about that how are you appealing to the mainstream audience at your work your boyfriend your girlfriend or whatever you know right? so you, you just got to really remember 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 everyone's fucking watching you and people say I don't care I just want to be left alone that's great man but Fuck, man, there's like billions and billions of animals killed every day. Every day, man. And so they don't really give a fuck if you don't want to be on social media or whatever. They just want you to fucking... Well, actually, they do give a fuck. They want you to do something, all right? They don't give a fuck if you're feeling sad or down or lonely or isolated or whatever. They just want you to be a fucking representative for them. They want you to be an ambassador, a diplomat for the vegan lifestyle. They want you to represent and inspire motherfuckers to go vegan. Or even not even just to go full vegan, which is the best. But if people want to eat more vegan food... That's still a fucking win, all right? That's still a fucking win. If we're getting Ben and Jerry's doing vegan products now, people are like, I won't support Ben and Jerry's till they stop doing dairy. Great, but then you fucking miss the opportunity of creating corporate change, which is the world is run by money. The golden rule is those of the money make the fucking rules. All right, I'll say it again. The golden rule is those of the gold make the fucking rules. Every dollar we spend is a vote for what we believe in. Money changes the system. It ain't ethics and morals, motherfuckers. It's fucking money. The more money you got, the more power you got, the more change you're going to have. So make more money, spend it on vegan products. I mean, best thing you can do is inspire other motherfuckers to spend that money. I mean, think of the millions of dollars that people have spent in, on vegan foods after watching my f- over 5,000 videos after the last 10 years. And it might sound arrogant and a chest beating and whatever. I'm just, I'm just trying to give people the reality here. You know, I get stopped in the street all the time as at Domino's Pizza last night getting some vegan garlic bread. Someone pulls up on a bike and then someone pulls up in a car like, hey Harley, what's up? You know, just we're sitting out on the park bench eating some Domino's vegan garlic bread in Australia. And even Domino's Australia now do vegan pizzas because of my videos from a few years ago. I would email them, they're like, oh, I'm not too sure. And then I'd email them again, like, oh yeah, I should do the vegan stuff. And then they had a vegan menu and then they got the vegan cheese on because other people were ordering and bringing them up. And then eventually Domino's Australia, you know, just from me freely and during I doing some videos about Domino's pizzas, made it go viral on social media, and then you got Bonnie and all the other YouTube crew out there, and it just it creates demand, and when you create demand, then you create supply, so that's what you want to do, so create supply, create demand, inspiration, not irritation, the worst thing you can do is be one of these needy, emo, drainbow people, that don't, people they're anemic as heck, they have no fitness, they like they look like a, a white cloth from anemia because they're just like I can't eat that because it's like or you know what I mean so just inspire motherfuckers out there put your best foot forward your best face forward do the best you can you won't be perfect you never one's ever perfect but focus on being more excellent in every moment everyone fucks up but do best to improve on that and learn from your mistakes and just remember man you want to be that person that people meet for the first time ever and they're their, it's their first vegan reference what example am I setting for this person I'm the first vegan they're ever going to meet or they ever met Think about that, all right? And just think, put yourself in their shoes, have that empathy. If you met you, would you be inspired to go vegan? Just think about that. Ask that question. If someone met me, would they be inspired to make changes? And if not, if the answer is no, ask yourself, what can I do to be a better vegan representative? And again, nobody's perfect. No one ever will be perfect. What you can do is do better and focus on excellence.